Hello guys, today I want to show you the Helltext Rugged. This is a remixed version of an existing model. Um, changes I did was the reset button was the same size as the program button. I accidentally kept pressing it so I made it really small, but it's still really easy to press if you wanted to. As you can also see, the status light is very bright. That's because I used a transparent, um, translucent filament uh, using it as an optical fiber, more or less, that transports the light to the surface of the case and so it looks like actually it goes all the way up to the outside. So everything else is pretty much stuck. There's a Heltec V3 inside here and in the original the GPS module is up here facing upwards. I changed that making it in a 45 degree angle so when the device is facing down it's still looking towards the sky when it's standing it's also looking towards the sky so this should help with reception. Keyboard is kind of the same um, on the original one uh, this is the front is two parts I made it one back again with a connection on the left side the right one is still open um, I also added the top uh, protection for the antenna the antenna base is protected by this mounting points three different options where you can put a wire or a carabiner through and I also added like a notification LED, a very bright one so when I send a message You have that really bright, well visible LED on top. And that's there. Um, the original one is powered by uh, up to 4000 milliamp LiPo uh, battery that sits inside. I did order it, but I could not wait that long, so I modified the back to take two 18650 cells. They are in parallel, each of them get 3500 milliamps. So this baby rocks 7000 milliamps of batteries, which means if I would like charge it over the original Heltex internal charging circuit, this would take a very long time. So what I did was adding like a external charging uh, circuit. This one does 15 watts. It's just 5 volts max, so it does not do any fancy voltages. It's just 5 volts, so you can simply Connect it in parallel to the existing battery that's also using a BMS, and that's pretty much it. You can charge it five times faster with that one. You can still charge it with the original one, uh, but of course, if you got the option, why not use this? 15 watts is nothing for the 18650 cells, they can take it with ease, it's not a big deal, and yeah, five times faster charging. Um, the whole path, uh, the whole thing is packed in like a uh, TPU case I designed so when you drop it this is protecting the outer shell it's also easy more or less easy to put out just like push it out and as you can see this is TPU uh, the on off switch is still on the side but as you don't switch it off normally normal use this one is covered as long as you have it in the TPU so this is protected from getting switched off and on the other side you still have the stock connector for the Heltec V3 in case you want to update it or you want to use the uh, onboard charging circuit and that's pretty much it I guess of course the TPU frame is optional you don't have to use it but when you got the chance when you do have oh, wrong side sorry when you do have some um, TPU at hand why not print it and have a nice bumper around your uh, Heltec device. Getting it in is of course a little bit tough, but you can make it work. It's a tight fit, therefore it's well protected. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Yeah, this is normal, of course. Yeah, you go. Yeah, that's a tight fit. 
when you have it on this is in there so good and typing is still possible oh and of course um, I also utilized uh, a MOSFET in here so you can uh, turn the GPS module that's inside on and off on demand uh, if you don't need it because the GPS module takes quite a lot of power so that's that all the files and all the info you need is on my printables page so thanks for watching and have fun building this one bye